something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear you know that uh, jungle map video that I posted late last week? Yeah, that video right there. Well, it got me thinking. It was all about choosing the layout for the new community map coming to Battlefield 4 and that led me back to Bad Company 2 and the time that I spent in the jungle back then. This map is called Laguna Pressa. And this is perhaps another perfect example of how good the map design used to be back then. See, in the days of Bad Company 2, there wasn't this stupid necessity to include all game modes on all maps. We got Conquest on maps that were designed for Conquest, and we got Rush on maps that were designed for Rush. Sure, later on in the game's life cycle, we saw the developers introduce other game modes onto those maps, but they only limited them to the areas where they actually made sense and it made the modes enjoyable to play. Here you'll see a mix of Rush and Conquest but take note of where they end up playing out. Here right now we're fighting on the shorefront and later we'll wind our way back along the river channel into a more built up jungle area and then onto a lagoon setting as well which is where the Conquest section of this map ends up playing out. This map has everything you could possibly want on it in terms of key locations or capture points that fit a jungle theme. To start with we have the typical fishing village out by this body of water which makes a great landing location for the attacking team on Rush. You're not just restricted to one cove though, you can flank right round and end up in the mouth of the river where there's a route that opens up to flank round the back of one of the MCOM locations. Another area is the army outpost and this becomes more apparent when you start to reach some of the highest points available on the map and now as being a jungle there aren't too many high locations that you can get to as a foot soldier. Up here gives a fantastic although heavily obscured view of the massive lagoon below. In the lagoon we have several different smaller locations such as crudely constructed barriers which are actually the sides of shipping containers which appear to be DICE's favourite technique to use in video games used as barricades around the hill objective which actually gives a nice view of the lower objective points on its own. The lagoon is very flat overall but it does offer some slight elevation which can lead to the water channels sort of carving their way through the mud a little bit. They don't change but that's the way that it's been designed. That leaves behind like little hidey holes in the terrain there which you can actually sit in and wait for approaching enemy players. If there's a tank going by there's a chance you could hide in there and maybe stick some C4 behind it. And then we have the centerpiece which for Laguna Pressa is a giant dam which dominates the skyline. This presumably is what helped create all this wet lagoon land below it and the river as well. There's no rocket science here, there's just a central focus, the water and the river and the rest of the map is just built around it. In my honest opinion, this is probably one of the most beautifully designed maps in Battlefield history. I know that's a pretty bold statement to make and when it comes to map design, Bad Company 2 sure nailed it. There are loads of good maps in this game. But just the ambience of the jungle, the colour palette of the bushes and the trees mixed with that insane level of emergent gameplay that we've come to expect from the Battlefield franchise just makes this location absolutely perfect. Look at Hardline and Battlefield 4. Yeah, they try to replicate some of that authenticity with their locations, but I just don't think they have the same level of detail that DICE went to with Bad Company 2. I'm sure there are some of you in the comments that will have reasons as to why you don't like this map and why they prefer something else and that's completely fine. Some of you might not like this jungle setting that's going to be happening for the community map but I will stand by what I said. For me, this is without a doubt one of the most beautifully designed battlefield maps in recent history. Trying to capture some of that essence and transplant it into Battlefield 4 might be a little bit tricky. I mean Bad Company 2 didn't need to take itself seriously. You can see that from the voice acting even within the multiplayer and it just has this air of juvenile antics about it. Battlefield 4 on the other hand has up until now tried really hard to be that all out war shooter that so many people in the community want to play. Add a jungle environment into that recipe? 
and I don't think we'll quite get something of the same level as Laguna Pressa. For me, whatever we as the community decide to do with Dice LA and whatever we come up with, I'm sure it'll be great. What other franchise right now is offering its players a chance to put something back into the game that they've put hundreds of hours into? Not many on the last count. But people reminiscing of the times of Bad Company 2, home to probably some of the last great jungle maps of the franchise, might be left disappointed by the outcome. And that's not me saying I'm not looking forward to what's coming, because trust me, I really am. But likely I'll never hold it in as high a stead as I did with Bad Company 2's offering. But let me know what you think, guys. I've managed to waffle now for nearly six minutes with my rose-tinted nostalgia glasses on. I'm sure you've got something to say. I still have Bad Company 2 installed here on my PC. In fact, I did remove it a little while ago to make room for Hardline, but I put it back on again just to play Laguna Presser. If you do still have Bad Company 2, either on the PC or last generation console, I highly recommend you go and give this map a try. See what you think about the jungle environment and then maybe you could leave some thoughts over on the CTE forums. But thank you very much for watching today, guys. If you could leave me a rating and a comment, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash westy for great deals on the latest games. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.